This National Police Week, McLennan County is honoring some fallen local heroes. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski joins us from the Peace Officer Memorial in downtown Waco tonight. Lauren, I'm here in Indian Spring Park in downtown Waco, where earlier today law enforcement read off 30 names, many of those names on the Peace Officer Memorial here over my shoulder. All of them officers who died in the line of duty in McLennan County, dating all the way back to 1871. I believe few jobs are more honorable and perhaps important than being a peace officer. A morning of honor at the Waco Peace Officer Memorial, remembering 30 officers. Sergeant Roger Barrett. Who lost their lives while serving McLennan County. Marion Nelson traveling from Fort Worth to lay a flower on the memorial in her grandfather's honor. Waco PD officer Irby Thompson was shot and killed in 1933. It's just very special to be able to come here and, and be a part of it. And they make you feel very included here in Waco, um, even all these many years later. It's a list that's grown significantly since his death. Officer Ricky Neal Roberts. Officers across McLennan County lost their lives to gunfire, car accidents, and recently, COVID-19. Most recently, Marshal Michael Keithley with the West Police Department in September 2021. And they have paid the ultimate sacrifice, and, and the least I could do is, is show up on a beautiful uh, day and, and uh, honor their name and honor their families. Even nearly a century later, Nelson's family will keep her grandfather's memory alive. We'll keep coming. An emotional morning. A reminder of the dangers faced by those on the front lines. The National Officer Down Memorial page shows Texas led the country in the number of officer deaths last year. The leading cause of death, COVID-19, followed closely by gunfire. For now, in downtown Waco, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. And taking a look at those numbers, those deaths due to gunfire have gone up slightly. In addition to police dying of COVID-19 and accidents, that's according to the Officer Down Memorial page. Four years ago of 168 deaths, 51 were from gunfire. In 2020, it was mostly the same. Two years ago, 63 gunfire line of duty deaths were reported out of 701 COVID, the pandemic to blame for many deaths. Last year of 246 deaths, guns killed 60 officers.